Hey, in today's video, we're going to talk about uninterruptible power supply, backup, and surge protection for more than one device and with several hours of backup power. Uh, we chose the APC backup that we're showing you the box of here. We'll show you the actual uh, device where we have everything plugged in. And we actually have had a very brief power outage, and this thing has been great at, at uh, helping us through that. It has seven plugins, so you can put seven different things uh, plugged into it. Two of them are surge only. Uh, the other five that you plug into are battery backup and surge protection. Okay, the item comes shipped in the box and you connect the battery, plug it into the wall, and you're good to go. Um, we ordered this off of Amazon, of course, uh, and I'll provide the link in the description for you, but uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, it says it has uh, two and a half hours of battery backup and uh, we haven't had that long of a power outage yet, and hopefully we don't have to have. Um, we're plugging our modem, our router, our uh, uh, security cameras, our DVR, and even the TV that uh, you know allows us to look at the cameras into. So if anything goes down and, and we're away from home, we can hopefully, if everything connects on the other side, uh, internet-wise that is, um, keep track of the house and, and things like that. Uh, so we chose this one and we've got it all hooked up. Let's take a look now and I'll, I'll show you exactly how that is. Okay, so we're in a laundry room area where there's a cabinet. All of our wiring and internet comes into it, so no one knows that the internet and DVR and, and all of our equipment is up here. Down below is our cameras that we can monitor. And I keep everything tucked away nicely in the cabinet, so I'm gonna open that and just kind of show you. A little bit geeky on, on how to keep things looking nice here, but uh, you know, I've got three shelves in the cabinet and everything here is all for internet. Top is where the DVR hooks up all of the cameras and we come down in here we've got a, a fan running to pull air out. Modem hooks up here. Uh, that tall thing there that's a sensor for a uh, remote thermometer so we can see how warm it is in here. We've got our Netgear router. We've got a keyboard over there so that we can access the DVR and things with it. All the wiring and stuff is tucked up as nice as we could. It's kind of hard to do in the little cabinet. And then down below is the uh, the battery backup. Got a lot of stuff plugged into it. The thing that I, I did find challenging was plugging everything into it in the cabinet that we have. So the wires come and plug into the front and then you got to pull them around the back. So in this example you've got a wire that plugs into the front port here then you got to roll it back and over to whatever you're you're plugging in. So we've got uh, router, modem, DVR. This plug-in is basically providing power into this back corner, if you can see it, to two items here. These two items are just the, the battery packs for the security cameras. And then we've got an internet-based uh, phone here that plugs in. So that's it. That's how we organized our cabinet with all of our internet gear. It does have a hole cut in to the side of it to expel the air and I do monitor the temperature and it hasn't been a problem at all so when I close it the way that we are moving the air is the very right hand side has a filler strip between the wall and the, and the cabinet so all of this area here is hollow allows the hole in the wall where the wiring is passing through all of this is, is where all the um, air is being vented to and it goes out the top and out the bottom as well so there's plenty of air ventilation through that there so that's it Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got questions, comments, leave them down below. But definitely the uh, backup power supply there with the built-in surge protection has been nice.